I would say though that um, for a, a lot of organizations, you, you really want to uh, think about how you're going to satisfy some of these requirements across all of your technologies and, and be honest about where you're at with some of these technologies. Because right. you're operating, uh, you know, decades old equipment. There may be so much technical debt, uh, uh, you know, built up over the years that it's really not worth retrofitting or hardening that environment. You might need to decide that your CUI handling environment does need to be a new build out. And then that's, again, something where, you know, an so, enclave deciding, you know. That so that sounds be. like a bit of a decision, right? Do I continue uh, uh, amassing this technical debt and just create policies around how I'm going to manage the deficiency? Or do I just take the, the hit um, to my checking account and invest? <laughs> Well, I, I think it's a you, you have to balance these things out, right? We we get we get trapped in sort of these false either or determinations from time to time. And, and I you know, I would ask myself some questions. Have my IT stakeholders ever been managed against policy? Do they actually plan their day and execute their strategies based on what's in policy? If the answer to that is no. Probably not. Yeah, you could write a lot of policy and, and it'll get really dusty in a drawer somewhere and that may not affect the change that you want. Uh, you know, so there, there's some questions to ask yourselves there. I think that um, throwing a blank check at the scenario is probably also not the best way to do that because again, we're going to lean into our comfort zones and we're probably going to overinvest in some part of the stack or the solution where uh, other areas that we haven't managed well in the past could be a far more cost-effective way to get things done. Right. So it's balanced. You have to balance it. 